Uh, you know, everything, everything I talked about, you know, this whole like chain of events making it tough for the microcap sector to keep getting kind of like the retail investor institutions. Well, it just got. To, I think it's just got to a point where it's just the, the, the bloating of these big cap valuations. Yeah. You know, the pump and dump is bullshit with crypto and you know pot. Just got overplayed. That the money has to go somewhere now, right? And then the smart money knows probably at this point that the smart money's in this little nano cap, micro cap, you know, arena. This tier, I call them tier one quality companies. We call them. Um, and I. What, what makes it a, a tier one quality company? There's like a, a ch- an interesting checklist. I mean, um, if I had to tell you, um, have some revenue. You got revenue, add or near profitability. Um, but one of the biggest things is, is capital structure. We like we like these companies with really nice capital structures where without with, with share accounts aren't bloated. So in the U.S. at least, once we start getting into this like hundred million kind of outstanding share account for these small more companies, it's been our experience that they've just like been. That's that's, that's, a, that's a low quality like micro cap. It shows that management has been had to, had that dilute the stock for years to grow or try and grow, and they've been unsuccessful at it, right? So it's a hint to us. But and then there's just this the usual, you know, um, we want companies that have revenue um, uh, and are near profitability uh, or at it that don't have to continually um, tap the markets to raise money, you know. And preferably that's been around for maybe 10 or actually 15, 20 years. These, these old school companies, you know, there's a lot of them out there. So that's kind of like if you had to really sum it up really small, you know, or I'll even put a turnaround company into a, in a high quality company in, a, in one of these in a tier one. If I, we think it's going to get to that, get to that kind of gravitate towards that level of um, confidence. Let's just get so 100 million shares on issue. Why don't they just do a share um, recombination, whatever that's called? Right. So people ask, you know, so just do that. And what we like to look at, too, is like how many of those they do. Right. So a lot of these companies will keep doing this to make themselves look, you know, look better. Right. But then we look if these guys have done five reverse splits. Right. We know what we know. We know what they're up to. Right. And they'll just reverse split, issue more shares. Right. Dilute the hell again. Stock goes down. Pump it up. Reverse it again. You see a lot of that now. What's the issue with them? Is it the fact that. Um, they're just not making enough money to kind of, they're just not getting the escape velocity that they need to kind of justify the cash that they got in them. Or is it that management's just ripping out too much cash? I wish it was like your, your first thing you said there. Cause that mean they actually had an intent to grow, but I think what it really is, I think it's a game. Yeah. I think there's more money. There's more money to be made in the pump and dump game for some of these companies than actually running a company. Right. So let's make ourselves that the pump and dump game has changed so much over time. It used to be like, these obviously fraudulent companies that had maybe nothing going on, no revenue, with the mailers, right? Pump and dump mailers. Now it's actually, you know, listed companies that have a patent, have a license, have a product. Maybe they realize it's just too hard to grow anymore. We have this wonderful asset in, in, in a public company. Let's just keep, let's just keep this whole let's just pump it, make some money, do it again, do it again, rinse, repeat. That's my theory of mine. Yes. I think that I think the pump and dump's gone up market. I think that that Moderna, uh, whether you know they released the the uh, preliminary uh, results of like a fifteen person trial, and then yeah. that afternoon you drop a one and a half billion dollar capital raise on the market. It's like, yeah. well, I, I've seen that a million times before in small and micro cap land. I'm not falling for that one. You know? No, but look at Genius. I don't know if you have a GNUS. This, look at that chart this week. It's gone. For, it's a, at the Netflix of um, for kids. It's actually, I think, it, it's been around for some time. And that's they did they did an offering at two three bucks. Stock's eleven bucks today. I mean, it went up into the offering after the offering was announced. This is a very I mean, fucking market. See, you, you would never, you would never see that like <laughs> twenty years ago, man. Right? Like that evolution is bad. Yeah. You know. Um, well, it's like so it is a late nineteen nineties thing. Like when that we're doing it, we're doing a placement, we're doing an issue. We're, we're going to have some cash, and all of a sudden, the the stock <laughs> yeah it rallies on that. But it's been nine, it's been that for ten years, right? It's been this whole thing. No it's news crazy. is bad news in this market. Like just sending out a press release saying, "Hey, we're still here." Market rallies on yeah. that. 